Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you a fully dynamic bill entry user form in Microsoft Excel. Here I have a button to open the user form. When I click on this, the form is opened. I will explain you how to use this form and what are the features. If you find this user form useful for your work, then you can download this and use. The download link will be given at the end of the video. First of all, let me show you what are the features. Here in the form, there is two sections. One is the entry section and other is the data section. Here in the entry section, we have to enter the detail of the bill. And after entering the detail, the data will be visible here in this data section. And here I have five control buttons. These are to add the record to update the record, to delete the record, to export the data in a new excel file and to save the workbook. By using this calendar control, I can easily enter the bill date here and by default the current date will be given here but you can pick up any date from the calendar. Let me add here the first entry. For example, bill number is BI001 then you can press the tab key to go to another box then here if you want to select a backdated invoice then you can go to the backdate then pick up the date then in the customer name i am going to write mr abc in the bill type for example it is a cash bill in the bill amount i am putting here 650 now click on the add button to add this record here here you see data added successfully click on ok and the added data will be given here let me add here another detail of the bill bill number is bi002 in the bill date i am going to take the current date that is first of june customer name i am going to take customer xyz in the amount i am giving 400 50 then click on the add button and here you see i missed to enter the type of the bill so it give me a message please enter bill type click on ok then choose the type of the bill then click on add button then here you see the data is added here in this way you can add multiple records here and suppose that if you did a mistake while entering the detail then you can correct the entry by using the update button for example here in the bill number 5 if the amount should be 430 then you can double click on this bi005 then the detail will be populated here in the box then here you can correct the bill amount here i am making it 430 then click on the update button and here you see the data updated successfully here the value is corrected if you want to delete a record then you can click on the record then click on delete button then the record will be removed here it will ask you do you really want to delete the record if you click on yes the record will be deleted if you click on no the record will not be deleted here i am clicking on yes and here you see record deleted successfully the bill number one is deleted from the list similarly if you want to export this data to a new excel workbook you can click on the export button and here you see the data is exported to a new sheet after you finish entering the detail of the bill then you have to click on the save workbook button when you click on this this give you a message workbook has been saved click on ok now the data is stored in the workbook so this is the way of operating this sales bill entry user form to download this sales bill entry template you can click on the link that is provided in the screen and this much for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial